So you've got a first person character controller for your game, but you can't crouch and you really want to teabag some noobs. In this Godot Advanced FPS Movement Series video, I'm going to show you how to crouch. If you don't already have a first person character controller, watch my 6 minute video where I show you how to make one. My character controller is shaped like a capsule to help with visualization, but the first thing we're going to do is right click on the mesh instance node and delete it since it isn't needed anymore and is going to get in the way. Next, we're going to go into the script and make a few changes to some of the variables. We have a variable called speed that controls how fast our character moves. We're going to delete equals 7 and create a few new variables. var default move speed equals 7 and var crouch move speed equals 3. This is so we can change how fast the character moves when standing versus crouching. We're also going to add var crouch speed equals 20 which is how fast our character goes from standing to crouching. var default height equals 1.5 and var crouch height equals 0.5. We're also going to create a way to get access to our collision shape node because we're going to make some changes to it in the code. To do that write on ready var pcap, which is short for player capsule, equals dollar sign collision shape. The first thing we need to do is go into project and project settings and in the input map tab, write crouch in the action box and click add. Click on the plus button on the right, select key and press the key you want to assign to the crouch action. I use the control button. Then in the script under the process function, write speed equals default move speed which sets the character speed to the default on every frame unless we do something to change it. If you followed my previous tutorials, you'll have a section of code for jumping and gravity and another section for movement. In between those two sections, you want to write if input.isAction pressed crouch pcap.shape.height minus equals crouch speed times delta. So if we press the crouch button, we will decrease the height of our player capsule by the crouch speed we set earlier. Delta makes it so that the change happens over a set period of time instead of on a frame by frame basis so that the people with faster computers won't crouch faster than people with slower computers. While crouching, we want our character to move slower than when standing and so we write speed equals crouch move speed. Also we want our character to stand back up when the crouch button is released and so we'll write else pcap.shape.height plus equals crouch speed multiplied by delta. We also need to set a limit to how deep we can crouch and so we'll write pcap.shape.height equals clamp pcap.shape.height crouch height default height. Crouch height is the lowest you can crouch and default height is the tallest you can stand. If you run the game you can now crouch and move under low obstacles at a reduced speed. But you'll notice that the camera clips through the obstacles. To fix this just go into your character scene, click on the head node and move it down a bit. Now the camera no longer clips. You may have to tweak the camera height a bit before you get it right. One problem you'll run into is that if you jump and hit your head on a low ceiling, your character will stay stuck on the ceiling for a second before falling back down. Or if the ceiling is too low, you'll jump after you've cleared the ceiling even if you don't want to jump. To fix this, we're going to add a new node to our character by right clicking the top node and adding a new raycast node. I'm going to call it head bonker. In the settings, we're going to set the cast to positive one on the y axis and we're going to check the enable box. Then we're going to click on the head bonker node and move it up until just a tiny bit of it is poking out the top of the player's capsule. Then we're going to go back into the script and create a reference to the raycast. On ready var bonker equals dollar sign head bonker. Then in the process function at the very top write var head bonked equals false. Then above our gravity and jumping code we'll write if bonker dot is colliding head bonked equals true. So if the little raycast above the player is colliding with something say a ceiling or some kind of low obstacle then head bonked is true otherwise head bonked is false. Then below our jumping script we write if head bonked fall dot y equals minus 2. This will push our character down a tiny amount until head bonked is false and then our gravity script will take over and bring the character to the floor. Now when you jump and hit your head you immediately start falling to the floor. There is one last problem however. If you stand up under a ceiling that is lower than your character's standing height your movement will become very jerky and that's because the top of your player capsule is actually inside the ceiling which causes collision issues. To fix this go back to your crouching script and instead of else Right, elif not head bonked. So if you release the crouch button, the character will start standing up until the head bonker collides with the ceiling, 
where it will stop. Now you no longer have jerky movement because the player's capsule size adjusts dynamically to the environment. Congratulations, you now have a first person character that can crouch. Go now and teabag every noob who dares challenge your authority. In the next advanced FPS movement video, I'll show you how to make your character sprint. If you like the video, like it, subscribe it, share it, bell it, and comment it. Thank you, have a nice day.